Crystal Reports has a neat capability which lets us lay out a different kind of report. We can add fields inside text objects. It's similar to the mail merge capability in some word processors, and it just takes a little practice to get comfortable with the main technique. We'll start by creating a report with the table of data as usual. I'll start by clicking on blank report, and in my connection, I want to open up my database here. So I'll go ahead and click the plus there, and then I'll go ahead and expand out my list of tables. Specifically, I want to use the table of employees, so I'll give that a double click over here, which will drop it over on the right side under selected tables, and then I can pull some data from there into my report. I'll go ahead and OK out now. The next thing I want to do is make my details section a little bit taller, because regardless of exactly how much information is going to go into the report, I do need some room for the text object. So I'll go ahead and grab the bottom edge of the details section and drag it down. You can drag in a few moves here until it's about maybe oh, one and a half inches in height. It gives me enough room. So then I can create my text object. I can go up to my third toolbar here and click on Insert Text Object, move my cursor down into the detail section, and then drag to make the text object as big as I want. I'll use most of the room here, and I'll leave a little bit of space at the bottom. Now, once I've got the text object created, I might also want to set it so that it can flex or stretch just in case I have more information coming in than I thought. So what I'll do is right-click on the edge of the text object, and in the dialog box, I'll go ahead and click on Format Text. Then what I can do, regardless of any of the other details here, is check the check mark that says Can Grow. Pretty much what it means is that it can grow bigger if need be, and if I leave the maximum number of lines set to zero, it means no limit text object can get as big as it needs to, and therefore allow room for all my stuff. I'll go ahead and OK out. Then what I want to do is type in the labels, which will go into my text object and tell me what's going to happen uh, with the data. I can put myself in the field there, and I'll type the phrase employee name. I'll type a colon and a space after that, and then I'll hit enter. I then want to put in my next label, current title, colon, space again, and hit enter once more. Then yearly salary, colon, space. This will allow proper punctuation, proper layout with the fields that I'm going to put in there when I'm done with this. I hit enter one more time and I'm going to type the word notes, colon space, but this time I'm not going to hit enter. Now, the text object looks like it shrank, but in fact, that's because of the can grow that I checked a moment ago. Now I've got the text object ready, and I've got the labels, which will tell me what fields are going where. So I click at the end of the employee name label, I go over to my field explorer and I expand out my database fields and then my table of employees. Now what I want is my first and last name fields. Unfortunately, I can't type these in. I have to drag them from the field explorer, but that's not hard. I just grab first name and the trick, the key thing is to make sure where I let go. I want to be level with the label there and just to the right of it. That's the thing you may need to practice. There's my first name field. I type a space, because there's normally a space between first name and last name. I grab a hold of the last name field, drag that over here, again watching the vertical bar at the insertion point to know where it's going to land. Let go, and there it is. Next will be title. I'll go ahead and find that over here in my list. Drag that just to the right of current title. Again, watching where my cursor is, my mouse pointer, when I let go. I grab a hold of salary and drag that into position next to yearly salary. 
And then finally notes. Same idea. Drag that in. Position it where I want it. And let go. Now I can go ahead and do a preview. I can click a blank spot and go up to my first toolbar here. Click on Print Preview. And we can see that the text object gets only as big as necessary to allow for the data. The report, of course, may go on for a few pages, but we can see that the information is not being cut off. Go back to my first page here. The only other thing we notice is that we might want a divider line between the end of each chunk of information and the beginning of the next. Well, that's easy. We can go back to Design View for that. And I'll go to my third toolbar again and find the button for inserting a line. Give it a click. And just to be real careful, I'll position the pencil point at the bottom of the uh, detail section and drag across just a little bit above the bottom edge. This way I leave as much room as I can for my text object with its fields. And then I can go ahead and preview once more. And there we are. Now it's pretty easy to see where each piece of information stops and starts. At the same time, we've made sure that we don't cut any data off. Because if somebody has an unusually lengthy set of notes, like Mr. Fuller here, we uh, certainly don't want to lose any of his data. Contrarywise, if we have somebody with a little less information, like Ms. Peacock here, we don't take up any more room than we have to. So overall, the point we want to bear in mind is that when we're creating these text objects with fields in them, watch where you drag. Be careful of the position when you let go of the mouse as you drag.